for Cirrus airframe parachute system. Nice landing nice. for Chase there. Yeah. Oh, keep that tail down. All right. Sub 200 foot landing. Now these airplanes, here's the, one of the challenges of the rookie class is that we've got airplanes of all sizes competing against each other. Uh, but you're going to start to see some shorter distances with these lighter really airplanes. Great organization, super helpful. They've been hosting us and taking care of us. Uh, but all these amazing pilots and aviation enthusiasts, go to Nashville99s.org, Nashville99s.org, if you want to join, if you're in the Nashville area. Big shout-out to them for all the work they've been doing, volunteering and making us uh, just feel so welcome in Gallatin. I talked to the mayor of, of Gallatin yesterday, and she said, you know, the one thing I hope you notice is our hospitality here in Gallatin, and that has been, been so true. And that takeoff, by the way, whew, that was a good one just then. In that 182. Here's that lower approach that Brian was talking yeah, about. Very now. shallow. Chase Bentley in the nineteen fifty-two Cessna one seventy. I love it. Oh, keep those. Keep it. Up, up, up. Whoo! All right. <laughs> Stop short. So, I mean, what you're hearing us react to is that you can tell when the tail starts to come up. The pilot's got to modulate off those brakes to keep the tail from going all the way over. And they're counteracting that with full elevator control again to keep that tail down. It gets, it's a balancing act. It's definitely a balancing act, and it can be a little exciting, especially when we don't have a ton of wind over the nose of the aircraft. So that pilot has 300 hours of fixed wing single engine land experience in that, uh, currently flying that 182. Holds commercial instrument rotor and CF double I ratings along with private pilot for single engine land and is typed in an SK64 and SK65 and the MI8 slash 17. So some Russian helicopters as well. In the 170 now. Chase Bentley. Woo! No, no, no. That hometown advantage. Chase Bentley now low and to your left, doing that lower approach. You're going to see the nose come up. Hanging it on the prop a little bit. Oh, right on the line. Early. I think it was early, oh, Ryan. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, whoo, okay. <sighs> Chase is making my heart beat. <laughs> Let's look. It's under review. Oh, it's too short. Yes. You were right. You're good. Brian, you should come in and uh, be one of our line judges. You're really good at calling this. And then look at the keep of the well, also, tail. I, <laughs> Even in replay, for my it's monitor. stressful. <laughs> All right. Burke Holder in third place in the Mall M5. And James Abbott bringing us to get rear. back in the mix. That may be his shortest takeoff. So far, his best takeoff was 245. And it was 243. Wow. In a Cessna 182 rookie, Chase Bentley now, his best takeoff, 240 foot. That's the last one you watched. Getting that tail up. Pulled it kind of perfectly. Waiting for the score. Yep, 231. So that was Chase Bentley's best run. Okay. Things are getting exciting in the fourth and final run of the rookie class. Chase Bentley now. Oh, Looking good. Oh, 
Lexi's calling it good, but that's going to be a longer landing for him because he didn't even stop. You got to stop. Always stop. Even if it's not a good one, you got to stop because that helps you enter into our most consistent award. So now, unfortunately, uh, Chase, even though he's currently the lead of the rookie class, will not be able to be considered for the most consistent prize at the end of the day. It was good, though, after review. Hard, that is. Let's look at the Sarasota Avionics and maintenance results for here at Music City Stole in the rookie class. Unofficial results. Yeah. Chase Bentley now. Best run, 469. Dan Donahue with 515. Tighten it up. Tightening it up. Tightening it up there. James Abbott, 588. And Justin Burkholder in the mall with 606 combined. That's your rookie class here at Music City Stole in Gallatin, Tennessee.